So you're a professional trader and you recognize the enormous advantages that you can get from algorithmic trading, but maybe you've never written strategy code before. In this video, we're gonna write your very first profitable systematic trading strategy, starting with just one line of code. We're then gonna go through the three building blocks that you need to know about for successful systematic strategy building. And I'm gonna show you how the strategy that we're going to build works across a lot of different markets. And then finally, we're going to automate the the strategy that we build together so that it can generate trading profits in real time. And we're gonna do all that in under 10 minutes. That's a lot to get through, so let's get into it. Hi everyone, I'm Dave Whitcomb from Peak Trading Research in Geneva, Switzerland. My goal is to make you a more profitable trader with commodity market insights and real systematic trading strategies. A big part of writing strategies is understanding how to code. So today we're gonna to be taking that big first step. We're gonna be writing your first lines of code using a coding language called Easy Language. This is an extremely popular code. It's built specifically for traders. It allows us to look at some very quick profit statistics as we go along, but you can accomplish the same thing in other popular coding languages like Python, R, C Sharp. The reason we're using easy language is just because it's easy. So today we're gonna to be building a breakout strategy. We're gonna be building a strategy that buys higher highs and sells lower lows. We're gonna also be looking at the heating oil market. Now heating oil, like a lot of other energy and metals commodity markets, is a great momentum market. When prices start going up, they tend to keep going up. When prices start going down, they tend to keep going down. You could use any of those coding languages to replicate what we'll be building today in easy language. The concepts, the building blocks we'll be walking through are universal for successful strategy building. So let's jump into a trading platform and start writing code for our first profitable systematic strategy. So this is what TradeStation looks like right out of the box. We are going to open up a chart. We're gonna make sure that we are using heating oil, 240 minute bars. Let's look back at 10 years of data. And there we go. We've now got heating oil, the continuous contract for heating oil on 240 minute bars. So each one of these price bars represents four hours. So we have our chart up. Now we need to begin writing our strategy code. So if we open the easy language development environment, think of this as a library of strategies. So we're simply gonna be adding a new strategy to our strategy library. Let's call this first strategy. And we can go ahead and delete the starter text because this is a breakout strategy we are going to write that if the close of a 240 minute bar so a four hour bar is the highest close of the last 10 bars then buy next bar at market so buy regardless of the price just buy get into the market buy a long position then if the bars since entry is greater than 10 bars then sell next bar at market. So exit the position. So what this strategy is doing, it's a simple breakout strategy. If the close of a four hour bar is the highest close of the last 10 bars, it buys heating oil futures. And if we've been in that position for more than 10 bars, so for more than 40 hours, then sell that position immediately. You can also see this is a big advantage of the easy language coding language. It really reads like a sentence. Next, we can confirm our strategy. We can add our strategy into our chart. So there it is, first strategy. TradeStation is now adding it into the chart. We can see what it's doing. It's buying higher highs and it's holding that position for 10 bars. Now, if we look at a strategy performance report, there's our equity curve. So that's our cumulative P&L line. It's positive, right? This strategy has generally made money over the last 10 years. It's not pretty, but the strategy has done okay, especially recently as energy prices prices have gone up. This strategy has made $27,000 over the past 10 years. Now we've shown using just one line of code that buying higher closes in heating oil can be a profitable trading approach. Now breakouts work both ways. It can work to 
buy higher closes. It can also work to sell lower closes. We can build this code to be symmetrical. To make our trading system be symmetrical and also sell short, we can simply copy the entry here. And instead of a higher close, we can sell short a lower close and then also use the same exit. So instead of selling, we are going to buy to cover. Now let's confirm this strategy. We can see the impact that this has on profits. There we go. Instead of just $27,000 in profits over the last 10 years, this now generates $105,000 in profits with a much better looking cumulative profit line. Now, before we get too excited about this great systematic trading strategy that we've built, we need to take one important step towards making it realistic. We need to add slippage and commission assumptions. Slippage because we always lose a little bit of money on the bid ask spread every time we execute a trade and commissions because brokers always charge us a cost to execute. Trading, unfortunately, is not free. So let's do that in TradeStation. I'm going to edit my strategy, go to properties, add $2.50 per trade commission and $30 per trade in slippage. And if I look at a strategy performance report, you can see that as predicted, strategy does not look as good, right? We've traded 1600 times over the past 10 years. That's a lot of slippage and commission costs. So instead of this strategy making $105,000, this strategy now only makes $34,000 because we've included those realistic slippage and commission costs. Now, before we get all bummed out that our simple strategy is broken, there's still a lot we can do to improve it. We've talked about the two important building blocks for any simple strategy, coding up an entry, coding up an exit. We're now gonna introduce a third building block and that is an input. The input is gonna allow us to test what values we should be using in our entry and in our exit. How can I add an input to our simple breakout strategy? You can simply add a section at the top for inputs. Let's call our first one high X and we will call our second input low X, give it a value of 10. And now I can replace these static values of 10 bars to look back with an input that we can test. Now, TradeStation can run an optimization for us because we've changed those static values to inputs. So let's test if instead of a value of 10, let's test anything from two up to 50 bars in steps of two, and we'll do the same thing on the short side. So instead of 10, anywhere from two to 50, we'll have TradeStation tell us running 625 different optimization runs, what is the best combination of inputs for this strategy? Our optimization is now done running. If we look at our optimization report, we can see that TradeStation is telling us that a high look back of 12 bars and a low look back of 40 bars is actually the best combination to use looking back over the last 10 years. We can look at our strategy performance report and there we go. We again have a nice upward sloping equity recurve using those new input values. Now there's still a few more things we can do to make this good breakout strategy become an exceptional breakout strategy. One last thing we can do to improve this strategy is by adding some simple filters. Maybe we don't always wanna buy a higher high or sell a lower lower in heating oil. The filters will help us avoid bad trading setups. So we can set a simple stop loss of $5,000 per contract. Now what you'll note is that this doesn't really help or hurt the strategy. We still have a nice upward sloping cumulative profit line. What this does is this just adds an element of risk management that helps us sleep better at night if we were to set the strategy to trade automatically. So I've added a range contraction filter to our original buying entry and I've also added a highest high lowest high filter to our original sell short entry. Now you'll notice that this has improved performance. You'll also notice that it's given us about a hundred fewer trades. So we're trading less often, but our strategy performance has improved with these filters. Now this very simple heating oil breakout system, your very first lines of code starts to look pretty good. That's a nice cumulative equity curve over time. What do I really like about this system? It's simple. It's easy to explain. It's just 10 lines of code 
mode. I also like that we used realistic slippage and commission assumptions. We didn't cheat and assume you can just trade for free. What don't I like is that we did a lot of optimization, right? We optimized our two inputs using all of our data. So this strategy will not perform as well going forward as it did over the last 10 years. And because this is a complete trading system, we can set up our trading platform to automatically trade heating oil futures using the code logic on our behalf. So we'll go to our strategy, simply generate orders automatically using this account with confirmation off. This is now trading heating oil futures in my account using the code logic from our very first system that we built. So let's recap. What have we gotten through today? We wrote your very first line of code, including a simple entry and exit. We then made the strategy symmetrical by allowing it to sell short as well as buying. We tested some inputs. We added filters, added a stop loss. We came up with a pretty good equity curve. We also automated the system so that it will trade on our behalf in real time. And I'll add that even though we built this trading system specifically for the heating oil market, there are a lot of other markets in which breakout strategies work exceptionally well. If you're looking for more great systematic trading strategies like the one that we built together today, you can head to peakalgo.com for the world's largest community library of easy language strategies. As always, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more great stuff from Peak Trading Research. Thank you for your time. We'll see you soon.